Hey, this is Matt Wimmer from Brody Precision. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at one of the new features that was included with 4.13, and that is the HTML5 certificate manager views. So previously, we would have had to open up Workbench in order to do any kind of management of our certificates. In 4.13, we now have the ability to do that directly in the browser. Uh, James Johnson had uh, a session at the Niagara Summit that included a little bit about this, and I just wanted to highlight it a little bit more here uh, on our YouTube channel and uh, disperse this information out to you because I think everyone's touching certificates now. Uh, you've probably seen our videos on certificates already, and I think having another resource that's available to you and another place that you can manage certificates and potentially have other people manage the certificates for you, so say like a IT guy, is super helpful and uh, a really good way to leverage the resources that are available to you. So let's jump in now to Niagara and look at what our previous version of these views look like. So this is the typical AX certificate manager view. This is what we've had literally since the AX days. We had our four tabs for our user key store, our system trust store, our user trust store, and our allowed hosts. And then we had um, at the bottom our actions on our user key store. This is where we were spending most of the time when you were generating certificates and trying to get them signed by an IT department or by someone like GoDaddy. This is where you lived. You would go in here create a certificate, punch in all the information about your common name and where you're located and whether you wanted this to be a service certificate or you wanted to create your own CA. You had a whole bunch of options here and this is how you would do it. But you were limited to having to be in Workbench in order to do it. Niagara for a long time now with Niagara 4 um, has been trying to get everything that we could do in Workbench out into the browser and now they've got that available to us for certificate management. So if I pop open my browser now, I'm in the same exact station that I was looking at from Workbench, but now I'm in the certificate manager service of that station, and I'm looking at the new HTML5 view for certificate management. You'll notice it looks very, very similar on the surface. We've got those same tabs at the top, our user key store, system trust store, user trust store, allowed hosts. And you'll also notice that at the bottom, we've got basically the same number of actions that we had previously. Say you had a, you know, a connection you were trying to make to a remote device and you needed to pr approve a certificate. You can go in here, click approve, done, just as you would have done from within Workbench. But if we go over to the user key store and we click new, you'll notice it looks a little bit different. Um, our properties and values that we would have set for like common name and things, we don't see that right here on the surface. Um, but underneath our distinguished name, you'll notice that we have a CN, OU, the things that we've seen before, but it's condensed down into a single field. If we click on this uh, pencil here, it'll pop out and let you um, add in those attributes and all the values that you need to there for those. So just a little bit of a, a condensing of those values. And then we've got our normal not before, not after. Next we get to key algorithm. This is a fairly large change from the previous AX version of this view. This is still not available on that view, and I don't think they're going to backport this feature into the AX view. It's only going to live in the HTML5 view. And that is, you now have the ability to select between an RSA style uh, certificate and key, or a EC or elliptic curve style certificate and key. The elliptic curve is the newer, um, more efficient. You're getting more value for your key size when it comes to security with something like an elliptic curve key. Um, and that option is now available for you. Select it and you'll notice the key spec changes a little bit. Um, and we can change those to be exactly how we want. Another thing that's worth noting here is that you'll find, and I think Tritium did a really good job with the documentation here, is that uh, next to all of our attributes, even down into the extensions, we have uh, little help uh, buttons 
next to those attributes. Click into it and it'll explain in a couple sentences what that attribute is and what it's for. So this is super helpful once you get down into the extensions, which is sort of where you're defining exactly what this certificate is for. Um, you'll notice that if I jump between, say, server and client, the, the extensions down here are going to change based on what that uh, specific uh, certificate that I'm trying to create is. So if I go back to server certificate, um, I could enable... Uh, Subject alternative name, if I had multiple uh, domain names that I wanted this certificate to be uh, valid for, I could go in here and do that. But if I was questioning DNS name, I'm not sure I understand. Um, not a very helpful one in this case, but if I uh, go in here, I can change this to something else and it'll, uh, it'll give me details on uh, what these things are. Again, I chose a really bad example for that. Let's go back up. Subject alternative name. This will explain, okay, it allows identities to be bound to the subject of the certificate. In other words, I can have multiple subjects for the certificate, not just one. But by and large, those help dialogues are super um, helpful, as you would expect. And then next, down here at the bottom for extensions, I can add in additional extensions, things like a CRL distribution point. Uh, contact or uh, excuse me a certificate revocation list distribution point if you're questioning what that is here's a little couple sentence thing on what it does so that is mostly the big changes that were added into this html5 view not a huge change but i think it's important to point out because since it's in the browser it's much easier to um get this out to other people who maybe know more about certificates or the IT side of things or want to be more involved in that side of things, say an IT department at a site for a uh, job, for instance. So hopefully that was helpful and informative. Uh, we'll have more features uh, highlighted here for 413 and coming soon for 414 since that's now in early access um, if you have any questions or comments leave them down in the comments below um, same goes for if you have ideas or things that you'd like to see covered please leave those down below like and subscribe if you haven't already I was looking at the analytics and it seems like you know half of you guys watching this video probably aren't subscribed so you should hit that subscribe button down below. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.